Gentiles are among the seed of Abraham. Yes. From the east to the west, from the north to the south, can anyone number? No. Hallelujah. So God will be sure. When they come out of the north of God, believe it is sealed in heaven and sealed on earth. Hallelujah. Sometimes when we know we are blessed, the enemy come plant seed of doubt. Yes. Doubt in our heart. Amen. Oh God, no, really bless you. You don't need your child of God. God is not with you. Brethren, God say so you're blessed. And we say, I am blessed. Somebody says, every day of my life, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, when I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. Well, I think was blessed. And maybe it will be different. But you're blessed. Hallelujah. That's why you're here today. Praise the name of the Lord. And many of us today are here because... We are blessed. And God bless us. And no matter what the devil say, I am blessed. Hallelujah. I am blessed when I go out. I am That's blessed God. when I come in. Because when God said, up. I'm blessed. Praise the Lord Jesus. God said to Abraham, I will bless those that you bless. I will curse those who curse. And those that bless you, I will bless. You know, that's why I like when we bless each other. When we go around and bless each other, we are passing the blessings of God yes. to our brethren. Yes. And that blessing is coming back at us. Yes. It bounces back. Yes. When you bless, you get blessing. When you bless, you get blessing. Bless. You're blessed. Amen. We are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. We are blessed with the blessing of Abraham. It is not a different blessing. It's the same blessing. Same blessing. It's the same God. And it's the same blessing. Yes. And no matter what happened to us, the Lord, if we have to go in the fire, God is there in the fire. And God will turn the fire into your condition. Yes. Hallelujah! That was supposed to be a curse. Shoot them in the fire. Because they won't bow. Shoot them in the fire. I made mean, the fire seven times hotter. Because they refused to bow. Make it heat, you know, heat. Heat up the fire. But the boy said, I will not bow if God deliver us. Whether God deliver us or not, we know we can. We know God can deliver. Yeah. Whether He delivers or not, He will not fall. Amen. Heat of the fire. Hallelujah. Ah, some of us don't got to know the fire, you know. The real fire, man. The fire when you're in a position with you, you don't know whether you're coming or going. And the fire hot. And the trouble is on every side. Hallelujah. But the fire hot. And then we say, oh, you, God forgets you. And you're praying on the fire, still hot. And the devil, oh, God, God forgets you. God not listen to you. So the devil, God not listen to you. But you're praying, you're praying, you're praying. And the fire is still hot. Seems to be hot. But God is not going to let us have can be here. And when it gets really, really, really hot, that's when you come and cool it down. Cool it down. Cool it down. Praise the Lord Jesus, that's the God we serve. Praise the Lord Jesus. God said, God said to Abraham, I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee. I will make thee great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. You know when we are blessed? And when we come among, the blessing from us will flow. The blessing, it will be a blessing to others. When we are blessed, we can be a blessing to others. Yes. Because the blessing of God is upon us. And it will flow unto others. So it's good to be blessed. Amen. But it's good to know that we are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. And Isaac, when he was supposed to bless Jacob, Isaac, bless Jacob. Let that brethren serve thee. Nature shall bow before thee. Be Lord over thy brethren. And thy mother's house will 
bow before thee. Curse everyone that cursed thee, and bless thee, everyone that blessed thee. That was wonderful. But the story today is about Bela and a gun church. Praise the Lord Jesus. Numbers 22, verse 21. God said, I bless the children of Israel. Moabite. The Moabite. Balaam. Send, send for Balaam. Because Balaam was at the word of God. Who said for Balaam? Cost is the cost. Everyone, Balaam, bless is bless. So the, they saw that the children of Israel spread across and they were mighty. And said, Mo was afraid. You know, sometimes the devil is afraid of us. Because when we call upon the name of the Lord, Amen. the devil tremble. Yes. When we plead the blood of the Lord, the devil tremble. Yes. So, Mo was afraid. And he sent to Midian, the elders of Midian, in the company, to, uh, and said for Balaam. And said, come and curse these people. Curse them. Because they are a bother, they are trouble to us. But God has already blessed them. Yes. And even though Balaam inquired of God, God said, Thou shalt not bless those people. Because thou shalt not curse those people because they're blessed. And he said, I will not go with you. Send by the men. And they said, more honorable men. I'm just going to cut the short. And they went with them. Sometimes when God talks to us, I mean, we will not listen to God. Sometimes we listen to our mind, and I think our mind is God talking to us. So, there, God said, these people are blessed. And afterwards, there, God said, go with them. Now, imagine that Balaam heard the word of God, and yet he went to curse the children of Israel who were already blessed. So sometimes we want, we want to, we hear the word of God, but we want to hear something else. And God was so displeased with Balaam. When God come talk to us, God has to find something else to talk to us. Yes. And sometimes when God is talking to us, we still won't hear. Balaam was on his way. God said, let's be powerless. Go. And Balaam was on his way. And the ass, the angel saw the ass. And the angel, the ass saw the angel. And the angel hold the sword. Balaam did not see the angel. When we're not, when we're not walking in the spirit, then we see what we're not supposed to see. And what we're supposed to see, we don't see. And this was in, in the case of Balaam. Because God said the people blessed. Once they're blessed, what are you going to do? Who can curse? Well, children, we are blessed. And no matter what happened, and what come against us, we are to know we are blessed. Amen. And if we are blessed by God, we cannot be cursed. No. The devil in hell, the demons in hell, cannot curse us. Amen. And it doesn't matter what situation we find ourselves in, God is with us. God will deliver. Amen. So, the angel holds the sword. And the house couldn't turn to the left or to the right. Something could tell Balaam that he's going the wrong direction. But he kept going. And he would have killed the donkey. But God could use the donkey to talk to him. It's a bad thing. When God can't talk straight to us, we must get a donkey to talk to us. And that was the case in Balaam. He would even not want to listen to God. And sometimes it is the, the desire of this world and the traits of this world that blinds us from the spiritual, the spiritual will of God. Because he was promised honor and wealth. And he went after it. And God 
use a donkey to talk to him. My God, what a condition. Brethren, when we are blessed, trouble will come. On the other side. But we are blessed and God is able to carry us through. And he doesn't take us through that road, then that road which he has traveled. No matter what the devil say, I know myself, I am blessed. If I was not blessed, I would not be here today. You think that little time they would try to kill me? To turn me over? To step on me? To walk on me? You think a little time? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ because I am blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to be blessed. We are honorable. We are blessed with the presence of God. And God just opened our eyes and said, numerous angels that have camped around us. If, if Balaam's eyes was open, he would have seen the angel. But because he's looking into this world and what he could possess in this world, he was blinded. And he says, come. There was a wall. And us was trapped. There was no way to go forward. And there was no way to go backwards. And he strapped the us. And I said, I'll give you a well, It's fun to have an animal talking to you. It's very unusual. He must have wondered why God must use a donkey to talk, ask to talk to me. You know, but sometimes, we are to be real of the presence of God. We have to be real of the will of God. We have to walk in the will of God. We have to talk in the will of God. We have to live in the will of God. You know? And God is able and virgin to carry us through. And when we are blessed, sometimes the blessing is not in front of us. We can't see. But the blessing is there. Sometimes the blessing is like in front of us, but we can't see. But God has blessed us. God has put his mark upon us. And God has put his blessing, the same blessing that he put upon Abraham. He put it upon Isaac. He put it upon Jacob. He put it upon David. He put it upon all his children. And we know no matter what happened to us, what we go through in this life, the blessings of God. The blessings of God, my brother, they cannot be reversed. As long as we stay in the will of God. As long as we serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. I'm thinking of the time when Joshua, if I look at Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, says, No, after the death of Moses, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came, the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, thy servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go thee, go over Jordan, thou and all these people, to a land that I shall give thee unto the children of Israel. Verse 3 it says, Every place that the sole of your foot tread upon, that I shall give unto you, as I gave to Moses. God said that to Joshua. God said that to Moses. God said that to all his children. Never you feel like you're a stranger in a foreign land. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein is the Lord's. God said to Joshua, Jesus. All the time I saw God change his mind was Ezekiah. 
When this guy was sick on the bed and the prophet guy said, listen, you, you put your house in order. Yeah. Yes. And then he kind of turned his face to the wall. You can change the wall, man, still, but you can't change the law. No. You can appeal. The children of Nineveh. God was going to destroy the city. And when Jonah went to Nineveh, Jonah said, just. So we, if we ask God, God will do good for us. God will do good for us. God did the good for Hezekiah. He did good for Hezekiah. Hezekiah he multiplied his years, 15 years. He did good for me, didn't he? He couldn't do nothing for Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the people would not repent. Praise the Lord Jesus. So God said, fire and bring stone. The whole thing is, I will pay God to change his mind if we repent. And not do evil. Praise the Lord Jesus. He's merciful. His mercy endures forever. So, brethren. God has blessed us. God has blessed us and we are blessed. Amen. Don't make the devil tell you nothing else. Yes, Don't make the devil tell you nothing. Um, we must worship God. We must glorify God. Amen. The Lord inhabited the praise of his people, Israel. Amen. And we are spiritual Israelites. Amen. And God inhabited our praises. Amen. When the praises go up, Amen. the blessings go up. down. So we just want to pray. Sometimes I come to the house of the Lord. I just want to praise the Lord. I just want to glorify the Lord. I just want to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Believe that God is able yes. to do 
receiver. God is able to heal. Mm -hmm. Whatever the problem is, He's a great physician. Mm -hmm. yes. He is with us. He has blessed us. And the blessing that has blessed us cannot be a curse. Hallelujah. No one can curse us because we are blessed. Hallelujah. Praise God, Jesus. We're going to sing, My heart is in the altar. And then we're going to close. Praise the Lord, Jesus. My heart is on the altar. Oh, 